ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're gonna find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on this, huh? Ah, uh, it's crazy. Ooh, big shot lands. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Lands a big elbow there. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Side control, a lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase submissions. Back to the feet now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? You wonder if the offensive fighter is gonna start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Damian Maia. Under two minutes now to go. Come on, push through it. Unable to connect there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Five seconds to go here in round one. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Round two coming up next. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheeks. You ready? You ready? Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Starting to connect on a lot of shots. Effective straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got a good very bad. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got an opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. He has hurt. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, right in the mouth. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow... Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high punch. Maya gets back up again. 
Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Man, as he landed the high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. So as we call on the numbers here, 47 total strikes have now found the target for Damian Maia. Well, and if you're scoring at home, connecting at an accuracy rate of just 31% here against Damian Maia. Liver kick. Good punch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big straight left. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the balls. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own. really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, there's a trip to get the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. I is right back to the full mount here. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. A triangle, a triangle. to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. And he's out. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Close guard. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. He's attacking armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Hammerfish now from the bottom. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble 
the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is, let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the...